Japan is a nation located in East Asia. It's one of the four nations that start with a democracy instead of non-aligned. That makes it extremely hard to expand without collapsing due to stability. But because of that, it is possible to build up a strong economy. This is the guide on how to play Japan in the Rise of Nations. Before we actually start, I would just like to ask you to subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so first of all, as soon as you load in, justify on South Korea and North Korea. Build three electronic factories. A steel and a motor factory. A filter a filter fertilizer factory and then consumer goods. For research, get research technology. In policies, get the research policy. Not required but can help. Once you can, declare war on the Koreas and take them out with your home guard. If they are players, either try taking them out, you will need to make a national army for that though. Or go down and justify the Philippines and Malaya instead. In my game, North Korea was a player, which joined Russia's faction. So I decided to just invade South Korea instead. Also begin developing cities with higher population I don't recommend expanding too much in early game because stability will be hurt Usually 2 to 4 nations should be enough Well that does depend on the nation size though Now just continue developing cities and building more factories. Also, build submarines in case anyone declares war on you. And for research, try getting quantum as soon as possible, then go for tax collection. And once your stability is pretty good, turn up your taxation load to high. If you feel like it, you can expand to take more countries, but in this case I didn't. Just make sure that you don't lose too much stability. If you can, try forming the Empire of Japan. You get course on a lot of Asia, which is really worth it, especially for the tax you get from those cities. But if China owns Taiwan, I would advise just waiting until you are certain that you are strong enough to beat China.
Once your economy is strong, prepare a navy that has an aircraft carrier. Prepare tanks or infantry and get ready for massive conquest. In my case, China left so I was able to take it down easily. But if in your game it's a player, a big navy will most likely destroy them. Because as we all know, China players are incompetent. Just make sure to take Beijing and it will probably leave. After taking China, you are pretty much unstoppable, if you play right. But as you can see, my stability was pretty bad after the war, due to the war exhaustion going up really fast. So make sure that you don't mass invade too much or you might just collapse. From now on, just make sure that you always have a stronger navy than your enemy. If you do so, then you will most likely win the war. Navy is so important for you play as Japan or as any island nation in general. Now just go on, conquer other players or nations, AI, maybe even do a world conquest if you want to. Or just chill, develop and make an even more broken economy. Anyways, I hope that this video helped. Um, this is technically my third Japan video, so yeah. Okay, I, I really like playing Japan. Anyways, um, yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe, like the video, and yeah, have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.